Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and it's a Thursday morning. I took the day off. It's supposed to be icy. It doesn't look very icy after now, but it might be in the higher elevations. And I said, eh, heck with it. And I had a couple other things I was going to try and do today, and they got canceled because it was supposed to be icy, even though it doesn't look very icy. It could be rainy, too, and rainy would interfere with that, too. So, at any rate, I'm here. I'm home. I'm looking at the video game screen, and I'm happy. So let's see, who are we gonna up against today? Or not necessarily up against. Who are we with? Who are we with this gas? A nice quiet session here, just to just to kind of clear out the bunker in a nightclub. That's all I'm really gonna try to accomplish. We'll see what kind of other stuff we could do in the meantime. Looks like Looks like there's double money on uh Hot ring and issy stuff again, so I might just do a quick run here. A quick run. Just to get everything so that it's generating funds again. Do a little bit of racing. That'll be a different video. That'll be a win on Sunday video. This one, we're just gonna bunker up. Bunker it up. Bunker it up. Give me the phantom wedge, please. I've been doing buggies and Merryweather pissing in our soup. Okay, you're making a few drops today. Slight complication is Merryweather's got your delivery schedule. Look out for him and maybe put someone on the insurgents' weapon uh, system. Otherwise, good luck. It's the pissing in our soup one again. The pissing in our soup. Soup pissers. So much soup. So much piss. I wonder, has anyone ever actually pissed in someone's soup? Like, how did this expression come out? Yeah, someone's pissed in your soup. Like, did that, you know. I mean, I realize that it is a concept that can come to mind completely unbidden, I suppose. Or somewhere back in, like, 1483, did someone get so angry with someone... And they didn't have, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't, you know, disparage them online or something like that, or, or rip up their speech or something like that. So what they ended up doing was just pissing in their soup. Like actually, literally, the person who's had soup, he, he stepped away for a moment, or, or, or she did, or something, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, someone just whips it out and pees right in the soup. Trying to get them to run each other over, that's always fun. Oh, hello. I didn't even know you were over there. Hold this. Is that the last guy? I know, it's a vicious video game, it really is. Totally. It's not that this is a bad mission by any stretch. It's, you know, it's there are certainly higher risk ones, you know. What is, the, what the heck is that guy doing? The AI went mad there for a moment. You assume that I was just going to crash right into him, which is probably not a bad thing to assume. Yeah, we'll let the poor, the poor motor scooter guy, he had no chance at all, you know? And we'll keep the, the, the street repair guys employed here. Yeah, keep putting more signs up, that's great. But those trees, those trees are indomitable. I wonder if that's going to be like one of the big things in, in GTA 6. Properly destructible everything. Imagine if like putting bullets in these houses would actually cause you to blow windows out and, you know. How long would the city survive if it was truly all of it destructible? You'd go into a session and it just looks like Fallout 4.
Teleport! Did anyone survive that? Let's see. Trying to get him run over. Panic! <laughs> I think that might have, well, he might have bled out, I don't know. From his wounds. And again, last guys. The only problem with this mission is it is so time-consuming. And it makes you ponder things like, did anyone ever really piss in someone's soup? What if you pissed in someone's soup and the soup was so bad anyway that you didn't notice? You know, I've never really had really bad soup. Have you ever had soup that was terrible? I mean, the soup is like pizza, you know, it's almost always pretty good. Well, I guess, you know pizza is a little more bulletproof. You can, you can, I'm sure, find a way to screw up soup. Drop the weapons. Am I dropping these weapons off for me? This is my... That's outside my door. That's my arcade. Do I get to keep the weapons? Yeah, we should be getting helicopters here, but they, they tell you what, they usually get glitched up on this one. They have, they struggle. The AI struggles to get... See that? Yeah, come on. There you are. Now fall on your guys. Are you real? Are you alright? Fall down, go boom. And there's always that one that's hung, hung up on the side. Over here. I warned you, global. Yeah, I know, but there's nothing I can do. This guy's never gonna move. Ever, ever, ever. Where the heck is he crashed in here? Oh, there he is. I thought it was. Maybe he was a video. Leave him right against the darn my office building. That's great. It's just lovely. Just chewing up the AI left and right here. We zip along and off to the next one. Boop. Boop. I'm tempted just to jump out through a prox mine right there. But that's expensive. And it opens me it leaves me open to attack. And that guy would have detonated it anyway. Wait till you see how they stack up over here. Where are you? Oh, I took like 16 rounds to the head and he was fine. Huh? Just getting back up. That was after I shot him once already. See, there's not a lot of good coordination of attack here. Put the... They didn't stack up in the corner like they normally do. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You haven't got all day. I need to kill you. Stay back there. Like a good neighbor, stay over there. Okay, yeah, this wasn't as entertaining a stack up of 
silliness as usual. Let's see, we got one more to do. This is the get in the gun turret one. Get in the gun turret, go boom boom. Get in the yeah, you thought I was going to do a double pile driver there. I'm saving that for this. I'm in a very silly mood today, just silly. Ever so silly. 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 I don't even know why. Excuse me. Okay. Get up. Get up on it. Tap tap. Get me in the gun gun. Lock and load. Chop the bits. Where's the other chopper? You got two of them. How did they get me? Fine. We have to be this way. Are they coming in for me? Come on, where's the chopper? Well, that was unfortunate. It's always unfortunate when you lose the main gun. So what do you think's over there? Okay, this one actually requires a slightly different technique. Lasers! Okay, now we leave the area. Your vehicles buzzard may. What if that invalid transaction because invalid price? Are they gonna start charging you for these free buzzards? Is there some weird thing going on there? Okay, so that's done. Let us move on to the nightclub. Where we only need a couple hundred thousand here and we'll get us up back up to ten million. I do dig me some ten million. Let's get down on this. And that, I believe, is everything sold. Next time you see those weapons, they'll be on the news. While we're at it, I do have to at some point, like, re-up my snacks. It's like not a full health, but hey, you know, you gotta save some for emergencies, right? Get head back up to the office, get some snacks. Snack it up. It's been a very quiet session, so that's been good. Everybody just minding their own business. Maybe they're idling. It is early in the morning, so they could have just left it online. I'm copacetic with that. Let's see, how has the... Um, the landscape. There's like just just one other guy. So not a lot of bonus this time, but you know what? I'll take this. I'll take a nice quiet session sometimes. 
main thing. Look, especially with something this big, you know, if, you know, if we're not going to be bothered, and just the, the one person who's in here doesn't appear to be a griefer. So, nine nine hundred k. All right. So, what we got? The buyers people want to keep an eye on this. They're going to guide you from a helicopter. Go out, meet them, and signal you're there with a flare. Then follow the chopper and look out for their signal for where to make the drop. It's simpler than it sounds. And although I'm very happy to get those, and it is not an interesting mission. Not something that you'd consider interesting at all. You know. So, shall we do time warp again? It's just a case of drive the big slow truck for a long time. And you shoot the flare. You can, I, sometimes I shoot it out the window. Sometimes I go, let's just shoot it right at them. And drive the truck for a long time. Just follow the helicopter. And the helicopter waits for you if you get too far ahead anyway. So, you know, they're invested in you getting there. I've never let them get away deliberately just to see what happens if you don't follow. What if you drive in the opposite direction? Someday, with like I have like 10k of stuff, I'll try that, but not today. Open, open the door. That is one thing that this game does need. It needs a wider sensor range on those doors. And now we drive. Why is that so satisfying? Just. Flying around the curves, and this guy's not gonna. Your day's not gonna go well. Oh, maybe he did. A little bit of a bump, not too much. Something just to fire a rocket into all this, just to clear the path. I'm fairly certain. We then we get some kind of wanted level, and that just wouldn't do. Many people use the expression "pissed in your cereal" too, don't they? You know, pissing and you know, someone who pissed in your cereal? Who pissed in your cornflakes? That specifically cornflakes comes up. Does that ever happen? Did someone actually piss in someone's cornflakes? I mean, that's cornflakes are wonderful. I mean, I, I'd hate to. It'd be sad to think that someone screwed up the cornflakes. I mean, grape nuts. Okay, that's not that much of a. I think grape nuts are just so crunchy. They're dangerously crunchy. I mean, those things. I mean, they're not grapes. They're not nuts. I don't know. What is the deal with grape nuts? Can anyone explain it to me? I'll let the helicopter get ahead a little bit here. I can leave a mine. Stupid nanny nanny boom. I've done that. It's a consequence free environment. You know, I'm fairly certain if you piss in someone's food, it's considered assault. Come on, Helio Chop. Try right now where you're going. We're going to the O'Neills. Where I bet you they piss in each other's soap. How come they never say like pissed in your Chinese or pissed in your pissed on your hamburger? I mean, just is it a bowl thing? You know? It's, And down the hill from the G Fred. No, 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 you do it. Oh, here we go. Back it up, back it up, back it up before we go into the ditch. Get out of there. No ditches for you. Less ditches, more bitches. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Just kidding, because it rhymed. Everyone just calm down. I don't mean to disparage women. I love women. It's a great. Been married for 22 years. Got my one woman. Life is very good. I don't treat women like conquests. This is really just free-flowing thought here, trying to keep this mission entertaining. I don't know if this is working, guys. It just sounds weird. All goods successfully sold to the buyer. So we got huge cut out of that, but we still got, you know, over 10 million. You're only 400k away from 11. It's just telling me stuff's maxed out when I just sold it all. It's empty now. But, you know, hey, sometimes I get texts hours after they, uh, they're sent, so... Yay, Verizon. Great, okay. Looks like you're done. <coughs> I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven, Tony Prince. Tony Prince! Alright. Buzzard me. I'm not even struggling with that. There we go. Why haven't we heard from you? You don't like TPI? We're a reputable firm. We've got work for you. I don't even know how to get to the TPI stuff anymore. Like, is that a thing? Those are Madrazo locations. No interest in that. Where is the TPI? Stroll up to TPI and ask for a work point. And call them, I guess. No interest in doing that either. But I do feel like I want to do a little more. At least, at least I feel like this video needs one more. One more, what's that I'm looking for? CEO-ish thing to do. I got an idea. Okay. Now it's Thursday. I have not, of course, seen anything on the newswire or none of the videos up yet to tell you what the daily everything is. So this could be double money. Client jobs. Do robbery in progress to start. That's the one that's far away. Well, we get there faster with the buzzard. But, you know, the slow fire rate on the missiles could be an issue. And getting in a little slow takeoff time. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Dad gummit, now I gotta go. Like I didn't notice that there was a gunfight in the last one. Come on. Like you weren't paying attention. Bing bang, bing, boopity, bing bang. That's it. Looks like some cops have responded to the call. I can patch you into the security camera inside the bank. Alright, patch in. And watch people get shot. Yes, yes, he's a terrible person. Bang in the face. There you go. Now. I have a choice. I can hop right on the lemonade mom turbo bike here. Which will get me there a little bit faster, but I'm exposed. Whereas if I walk outside of this, vehicles, request personal, this should pull in the Deluxo. Deluxo me. Yeah. Deluxo takes a little bit longer to get there. But man, it's just, you know, I like the way it fights. Now, someone like the professional would say, I'm doing this all wrong, and they, you know, he would have a point. He would use either the thruster or the uh, 
the oppressor. Or probably, actually, he'd probably use the buzzard we just had back there because it is faster. And as far as if you're trying to grind money and get it as fast as you can, this travel time, that's a thing. But I'm also looking at, you know, mitigating the risk to myself and my own person here. I don't want to have this go wrong. So, I'm relatively well protected in a deluxo, especially from below. I mean, they can, they're shooting up at me, they can't get a window. So, that's, that's a good thing. I don't know what the, what the uh, story is. If someone shoots you from beneath, can they punch, punch through the, uh, the metal on the car? I mean, you'd think that they could. That would make sense. I mean, you know. I mean, stainless steel is more resistant to bullets than glass is, but it's not bulletproof. You need a fair amount of armor to be bulletproof. I guess it depends on the thickness of the stainless and... and this car is, I believe, is... You know, the body works all stainless. I don't know. Is the regular... Is the bottom of the car not stainless? Is, is that just regular pressed steel? Which, again, we're still talking some kind of steel. Was it made of iron? Or fiberglass or monocoque? I don't think, I don't think it's a monocoque with stainless on the... All right, let's listen in here. Okay, so that is a minigun. Take it out quick and try not to get shot into chunks. She's so caring. Excuse me, did you see what I did there? I can just blow stuff up. And I really want to. Make it real simple. Now we're gonna have to shoot our way out of here, but... Well, who did I kill? Killed something. I killed the girl behind the desk. That's too bad. Did he survive that? An explosive round? In the face. Oh, and then I got shot. Dad, gun it. Alright, well, we'll just have to go in and do this. Oh, they've impounded my car. Alright, yes, we have to do that. Contacts. This is gone. I said, said I was trying to remove risk. Where the hell is? You're through to HQ. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll have your personal vehicle collected as soon as possible. Okay, so that should just come right back. See, the professional will be telling me I'm an idiot here because if I had a thruster, I could have just zapped right out of there. Maybe he'd be gentle. You never know. If you watch it, you get a lot of good tips from the guy. I'm not getting any payola for this. I'm just, you know, making conversation. Basically, I'm telling you, I know that what I'm doing is less than efficient. And especially if you don't execute properly. And I did not execute properly there. Hi, guys. Oh, you're all left. Like, that really makes no sense whatsoever. But we'll take it. Hey, we got the gold. And no pursuit. We, all you gots to do is die. Alright, deliver the gold of the drop-off. So I lost probably about 2,500 there between ammunition and getting the car back. I believe I have, uh, you know, I should at this point have a full full load of missiles, right? Or did it not do that? Yeah, those are the machine guns. We got a full rack of missiles in there, probably. Which will be good for the next mission, if we do the next mission here.
we're doing a little bit of exploring here. We're going to see, is any of the CEO or VIP stuff still going? The VIP work was doubled last week. So I don't know if it would be doubled again. They do that sometimes. Well, you liked it so much, we left it up. That's Maybe they're doing psychological testing. What do you think is more compelling? Double VIP, where you can make more money, or double money on racing, which everybody likes. I gotta think about what am I gonna try and do. You know, the it seems like even when I try to go in to do Issy racing, when it's double money and everything, what people do is the NASCAR. Okay, not double money on that. That's that's normal money. It's a little disappointing. Just your payment should be in your account now. Okay, let's get a little bit further south so we don't have to go too far north. And let's do headhunter just for the heck of it. Just to get us up to what would that, would, what would that get us up to? Seventy-two thousand headhunter would get us up to just about ten point, just about ten point seven million. Or do we want to do something different? We can source a car. Source and sell a car. That gives us another eighty thousand. And headhunter certainly isn't. You know that that can be. And the odds of headhunter being doubled are really low. I mean, the selling the cars aren't going to be doubled at all. We could do the source of car and then see. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I need something to give this video a little punch, and I'm just not coming up with it. Use the comp screen. Cool down on all those. Thanks to stupid thieves and social media, Securo served trace this stolen car to a race meet. Get over there, steal it again, and bring it to the warehouse. That's a standard range. You know, I, I don't know what I have to do here. Whether I have to sell all of my cars to get a clean slate and then sell. I mean, it might be something like this. For right now, I have the, the 10 mid-range and 10 standard range cars stored in my in my thing. But I also have more than that. I've got I've got almost all the collections filled. So it's like I'm, you know, it keeps giving me these crappy cars. So from a strictly business point of view, I might want to just sell off all the collections here. You might have to sell them off one at a time. Sell the thing right down to nothing. And then try to use that technique where you, you you keep the mid the mid range and standard range cars till they stop coming, and then sell every top range that you get. And then you'll only get top range cars. I, you know, they're they're never clear on that, and the professionals not clear on that whether you can have any top range cars in your uh, any, any top range cars saved. I mean that screw, might screw up the pattern on that. That's the only thing I can think of because I, other than that, I followed it to the letter and I keep getting standard range cars. Maybe we'll... <gasps> we found one! A tracker! Fire! Alright, only 43 more to go. You'd think with 50 of them, they'd just be all over the place. Like, there'd almost have to be one on the Vinewood sign, wouldn't you think? Or near the Vinewood. Maybe you could put them in the bushes, I guess, but... We'll go up this way on the way to the power station. See anything? Anything? Nothing obvious? Scanner's not locking onto anything here. 
It was a parachute, but nah. Nothing on the radio station. Nope. No jammers. Slamma jamma. As I recall, the car is usually pretty resilient. I don't think you can just necessarily destroy the... Let's get the laser out in case we meet resistance. Where's the car? There's a Vestia. Vestia. All right. It's undamaged, even though it, I bombed the whole area. What do you get out here? And people will almost certainly try and come and kill us. Whoa, we just made that. They're making it very hard to, uh, to keep this thing undamaged. But now we should be able to pull away. I can get out and fight with them, but like then you're just trading ammunition costs for repair costs, you know? So it can be more satisfying. It's not racing him though, and the bestie is a nice car. Should get a bestie. I wonder if I should get the you know, sell my Rapid GT and get a bestie. I'm really have to start looking at my garages, seeing how much space is in everything and what I should keep and what I should not keep. You can try to hold out for another DLC. <laughs> More garage space. Came in that a little bit hot. But we're through. Let's say beam them in right at the at, right next to the uh, garage. Beam me in, Scotty. We're gonna go get a car back. I know, Kirk didn't talk like that, but... The Bestia GTS was delivered. Pretty cheaply as well. Now, is that one of the collectibles? I mean, I don't want to talk about getting rid of collectibles, but... It's like so hard to do, so hard to talk myself into it. Let's see, collection. Was that a collectible? There is a bestia that you're supposed to get. It ain't that one. We've almost got everything. That means everything I've got is in the collection here someplace. Maybe we just have to start, you know. Getting rid of all these top range cars. We have one, two, three, four, eight. We have one point two million dollars. Well, it's not hundred thousand. It's like eighty percent of that. So, you know, we've got a lot of cars. You know, cars here. Figure eight hundred thousand, eight eighty, eight hundred thousand. Yeah, nine nine point six million dollars worth of cars. So, I mean, really, if we unload all of these and see if we just start sourcing top ranges. Not like we won't source them again, right? Not like they're rare. Actually, you know what? What we could do. We could get crazy. 
There's nobody really in this session. Oh, it won't let you do it. You have to have an associate to, to sell the darn thing. If it just let you park out there and run back and forth, I could do that. Fine. You know what? The night sheet's not going to be worthy of uh, worth that. Let's uh, let's get out of collections. What one are we going to get rid of first? Forgoing the bonuses because we'll get so much more just being able to always do a top range car. I don't even know if that'll work. That's a that's something for a future video. Because we've got to do a lot of cars here. And we're just going to start with pretty. Let's export it. Wait. We'll keep it. We'll keep the theme. Yeah, we could probably leave the secondary purple. Body work. Bumpers. Front bumpers. Yeah, let's see. Rear bumpers. Tow hook. Oh, yeah, it needs a tow hook. There you go. Um. Windows, limo, confirm, wheels, wheel type, off-road, chromes. Yeah, there you go, Amazons. Car will hang a little bit softer over the bumps with the with the, the, the uh, so that's Get the car to the buyer clean. This should be a payday, people. This will warm me up for racing, so that's good. that out. The ETR-1 is supposed to have fantastic handling. Why does it loop out on me there? Costing me a couple grand. That's... It's supposed to be the most planted thing in the universe. I think it's supposed to have more mechanical grip as than a uh, an RE7B. I don't know that it has the downforce of an RE7B, so maybe it's speed. I'm expecting too much of it. Or maybe, maybe it has more, you know, maybe it has you know, just as much downforce, but it doesn't have as much top end. I don't know. I forget what the balance was on that. Where it isn't as fast as an RE7B, trust me. But it's quick enough. I can't remember what this car was supposed to be based on. Was it a Lexus LFA? A racing version of an LFA? Something along those lines. Oh. Stop it. Delivered ninety nine thousand. Beautiful. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap it up here because I really do want to start working on that. The next win on Sunday here with double money on things like the hot ring circuit and in the Issy job kind of stuff. Not the Issy job, but the the Issy racing. Come on, give me the congratulations, assistant. Assistant. Well done out there. The money's in the bank. Oh, you gotta walk away from the place before she calls. 
Don't you know I need that positive feedback that tells me I'm just ever so wonderful.